All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Prom Multiplayer Monster Mash here on what is usually called Bite Size Beefs, but it's now called Monster Mash because it's multiplayer action. But you already know that because you've watched the last pre previous episodes. And I am here with my lovely cousin, Sierra. Hello. I'm lovely. <laughs> I'm lovely, yay! <laughs> She's so happy about that. And so we're back here at the same place we left off. I just had to click uh, to advance the screen, and something has happened to Fire Crotch. So we're going to see what happened, which means this is all your decision. So oh, what? No. So you have to pick. It's a fire which means it's, prob it's probably going to, uh, you know, affect me. So here we go. <laughs> another weekend, another adventure. You were about to enter the swamps of despair in search of the destruction ruby. When Scott stops you, probably for a much more urgent matter. Oh, fire crotch! I was just... Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm taking over for Sierra. Just I can't hit the male voice. I'm sorry. It's can't. really shitty and I know you guys probably don't want to hear it, but you know what? The Batman hey. just wasn't working. Hey, you tried and I, I loved it. I was laugh I was trying not to laugh too hard in the mic to get over your audio, but you know what? I applaud oh, your trying. It's a cringy kind of laugh. But I wanted, to, I wanted to save her voice. I just wanted to save her voice because she's got to work and stuff. So, you know what? I'm going to do Scott's voice from now on. I don't mind. Can you and can you inflict some Batman into it for me? Yeah. No, no, he's gonna he's gonna be my he's gonna be my boy. I have to do it because I'm every time I see him, I'll just go back to the neutral Scott voice. So All right. oh, fire crotch! I was just thinking about you and that time you were really really good at dodgeball. Coach said, remember? I'm glad it's coaches. But no, it. really, yeah, well, the coach is actually a character. He's like Fat Tony the Tiger. Like if oh, Tony the Tiger yeah. lost his job and became had to become a school teacher. <laughs> not really, all your classes kind of blur together and become repetitive after a while, but okay, sure. But hey, why not take the compliment? Well, I think people are like sports, you know? Of course you do, Scott, you poor little boy. <laughs> because, well, sports are good, and, and people are good, so if they're both good, then they must be the same! Sure, right, sure! But all sports are different, so all people must be different, and some sports are better than others, and some people are better than others. And I like different sports, and I like different people. But there comes a time where you have to choose one sport and another person, or and one person. You can't take two different sports to prom or play in the major leagues of two different people. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, he's, he's kind of he's got like a like a really stupid alliteration of it. Well, well, yeah, he's got like he's got the right idea, but he's not going. He's not getting there the he right way. He has no idea what he's talking about. Yeah. He's just blurting out. Yeah, stuff. he's getting he's getting there in his own way. Like he, he's still getting a good idea. Like he's still getting to the right point, but he's not getting there in the proper good way. Boy, <laughs> he's such a good boy. So. Can't take two different sports to prom. I mean, a lot of people would beg to differ. I, I definitely know some people who have taken two people to prom. It's happened. No, wait! Opposite on those! You figured. Also, it doesn't really make sense either way, so whatever. So, our friend, Timmy's mom, she's so nice, isn't she? What kind of sport do you think she would be? Coach says romance is the most intense of all sports, so this is a very, very important. So, this is a very, very yeah, this important. This is a very, very important. Timmy's mum is the holy amalgamation of football, basketball, and baseball known to the initiated as all ball. Timmy's mum, a sport. Timmy's mum is chess. So this is your option. So you have to choose what to say to Scott. Now, I didn't cock block you, and I swear to God, that Ruffles dip will meet with an unholy part of my body. Don't touch my dip. <laughs> I will dip something in there that you will know. I will ruin that dip. Don't touch my dip. My holy. fingers. I will I will dip my fingers in there and then I eat with my fingers and then dip it right back in and Don't move it around. Don't double dip my dip. Oh, dude, I'm going to double dip with my dirty mouth fingers. Even... <laughs> Don't you fuck me up with That's Scott. I already, I already friend zoned him once. I can't do it again. My heart <laughs> will break. Face. He looks so horrified. He does. He's all so right. concerned. Do, do the all ball. Do the all ball? To save my dip. All right. Yay! He loves me. All ball? I've heard of all ball. It's the ultimate sport. You can tell because it has all the balls. You can Glad. dodge the balls or kick the balls or hand the balls or foot the balls or basket the balls. Hey, some people um, might be in, like, Scott? at least like four of those, some people might actually be in. I mean, so. Scott, I, I, I don't know if you know this, but uh, you've got balls <laughs> and I've got hands and feet and other things that could maybe play with your balls. If Timmy's mom is all ball, then they must be the best at being a person, too! I'm so glad you told me, and I'm sort of surprised you've heard of all ball. You must be a great athlete. We should play sometime. No. Well, you're not sure about the great athlete part, but you are definitely a great friend. You're welcome, Timmy's mom. You would make a balls joke, but you're way too classy for that. <laughs> no, we're not. No, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, dude, I already made, I already made, uh, <laughs> balls, you know what? You gain plus three fun Fuck for that. yeah, look at that. <laughs> I'm the funnest person here. I sit I in am a, the most fun. Oh. I sit in my room all day. That's how much fun I am. I'm so fun, I only go to work and go back to my <laughs> That's room. That's exactly what I do. <laughs> Everybody chooses an occupation. 
Let's pick my occupation, mortician. A mortician? Oh yeah, by the way, if you didn't know, uh, seemingly enough, I'm a monster and she wants to become a mortician. So maybe on the thumbnails, I'll put you as Morticia Adams. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it'll be Mort Morticia Adams, but the good Morticia Adams, the one that was with Raul, uh, Raul Julia, the good the good ones with like a uh, Christopher Lloyd as Fester, those the real Adams family movies. Yeah. Those ones. That's who you'll be on the on the on the ones there. Or maybe I'll be, oh no, I'll pick the one from the cartoons, the Morticia Adams from the cartoon, because oh, she's yeah. like super. Thin and tall. Yeah, that's who you'll be. All right, so you'll be a mortician. I am going to say an accountant. Something stupid, boring, and just terrible. All right. Sorry for if there's any accountants here, but you picked a really yeah, boring I mean, profession. <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, you were no, okay. Listen, accounting is kind of boring, but you, you did super it, buddy. It, no, 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 hold on. No, it's not that. It's, it's super necessary. You super necessary. You, Either way, we're not going to harp on. We're not going to. Player order is decided based on how likely it would be for Fire Crotch to get a job as the selected occupation at some point. Well, I mean, I guess kind of you are I, literally. I could be. I would be the best cremating service ever. That is actually true. You could literally cremate people, and also you are like trained almost to be a mortician, and or at least a funerary directory services uh, attendant or whatever they call you. So yeah, you win this one. I'm gonna. I'm not even gonna argue. Not even gonna argue. I'm not even gonna personal argue. Personal cremating machine. And I'm an undead. <laughs> Us should this. not hang out. <laughs> All right, so you get to go where first. So you've got seven smarts, 11 boldness, seven creativity, eight charm, and 17 fun. I'm super fun. You don't need any more fun, I don't think. I'm super fun. Um, Let's go to What's-Her-Face. Let's go to Valerie? Sure. In the bathrooms? <laughs> yeah, let's go meet in Smoking the bathroom. Smoking in the boys' room. Ah, oh, you missed me and my shit, huh? Worry no more. All this shit can be yours if you have the money. Not me, though. <laughs> I've already had you, and you're wonderful. Please take me back. Oh, God. So, the height, the PR agent. Most likely, that's gonna be smarts. Uh, no, actually, do you want me to tell you what each does so you don't screw up? Because I don't, I don't mind. I want the. This one. What, what do you? Which one do you think that is? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, read the words. Obviously, dumbass. <laughs> I know, but sometimes with you though, Sierra. Thank you. Some, I know sometimes. All right. You throw me, and then we've got here the a Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as love and death. Okay. A fake badass tattoo. Fake badass Some tattoo. impractical yet kind of funny glasses. Okay. And um, you, you can't get the charm ones because I bought the charm. I know. You fucked me over. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Kind of want to go with boldness. Kind of want to go with the bold option? Yeah. The badass tattoo? Fuck yeah. All right. So let's buy you the badass tattoo. That'll cost you five of your seven money. Um, I mean, you might as well buy something yeah, or else you'll lose a turn. So. That's fine. I actually, okay, the first time I played this, I bought this tattoo because I thought Vera would like it because it's got a snake around a knife. Oh, it, it, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. So you gain five boldness. Just add water. Yeah, it's a, it's a temporary permanent tattoo. You know what? All profits made are donated to a good cause. Spoiler alert, the good cause is buying me a new phone. Sweet. Let's go. Tammy's mom has got it going on. So, oh God, let's see. I'm going to need more charm. I need more charm. Ah! That day in Epic Gospel match takes place. Many people fall during the battle you can't take any more so you violently go straight to the other team's leader and start negotiations for a truce after hours of intense diplomacy you commit to an agreement what an unexpected twist you gain plus 10 righteousness but this game is so wrong in so many ways that you would be lucky if you could do anything with that and to charm you're practicing your very best monster mash <laughs> whoa it's almost like i took this name from a common <laughs> name drop <laughs> when you hear the sounds of an argument which is so strange in these sacred hallowed halls of education. Lol, JK, you can imagine. <laughs> Timmy's mom, you made me their king, or they made me their king, and they deserve the bestest, most wonderful king there ever was. And I'm gonna work as hard as I can to be that king, no matter what it takes. This is you. Oh, Scott, you realize there's not cute little baby animals in need of a king, right? The eye roll. <laughs> They're furries. I know they're furry, Vero! I'm the one who told you that! No, Scott. They're furries. It's a kink. Yo, Vera, don't kink shame, please. <laughs> yes, Vera! There are many kinks at my plan! That's why I need to work them out to be the best ruler! Scott, you're Forget so innocent. It. Scott is so innocent. I know! 
Oh god, oh. again? Excuse me, did you- Oh god, sorry, I used various little tone there. <laughs> That's fine. I was gonna say, do, do you wanna- Excuse me, did you say you need help being a good ruler? I know all about that. Did, did you wanna hear my Miranda voice? Oh no, it's, 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 hit, it's hit me with it, darling. Alright, so this is- Okay, so here it was. Oh, excuse me, did you say you need help being a good ruler? I, I know can't all hit about that. that. I can't hit that high I know note. you can't hit- I know, what's weird though. It's almost like I do this thing for Like, I can, but it wouldn't last very long. But how, like, how much- how does that fit her so much? She's like, oh, excuse me, did you need a ruler? It's like, it's, she's so upbeat and hip. That's why I like it, so. Being a king is easy, as daddy always says. <gasps> only live- only live peasants- What? How the fuck are you supposed to say that? Only live peasants can stage a rebellion. Live peasants. Oh, oh my fucking god, it's time to go to bed. <laughs> oh my okay, god. Okay, 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 hold on. Okay, ho hold on, Veronica Lodge. Oh, Miranda, I'm not really sure. Fear is your most important weapon. Your second most important weapon is actual weapons. Torture soup, spoons, razor teacups, a knife on fire. You know, the huge. I mean, knife's on fire, that's just standard equipment. I don't know, Miranda. I appreciate the advice, but I don't think that's the kind of king I want to be. Nonsense. I'll go get you the butter knife shuriken right now. Man, that's, that's nonsense. <laughs> It just seems so unnecessary. With a smile. Must... He's like, that's so unnecessary. Why would I ever want to do that? Wink. There must be a better, kinder way to rule, right, Timmy's mom? I want them to have a happy time under Scott the First. They've been so nice to me. They've written me beautiful songs, which are about my adventures, but most of them are the sort of things I definitely have not done. And they've made amazing drawings of me, which are very, very generous in their proportions. I just think they deserve the best leader. They drew him with huge genitals. <laughs> Normal rulers make their subjects pay taxes, but what if you paid taxes to them? Flag time! You can't rule a kingdom with no flag. Without a flag, it would be just a bunch of flagless people. That sounds like creativity to me. Normal rulers make their subjects pay taxes, but what if you paid taxes to them? Oh. Oh no, I don't have money. I don't have money! Yes, money's actually a stat that comes into the play oh, of okay, decisions. Oh, okay, yeah, then yeah. definitely not, because you can't really pay them. Yeah, so flag you time? You kind of have no choice. Yes! You're 120% rag, 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 <laughs> right. Make, make a flag out of rags. <laughs> Let's combine our part art powers to create the very best flag ever! You get into an intense art frenzy, which is kind of hot and intimate. Somehow the two of you end up shirtless and sweaty while pain painting and doodling. Yo, huh? dude, I tried to get you shirtless, like, last week. Well, what the fuck? Let's also mention the fact that you're female in this. You're just, like, walking around with your, like, zombie titties flopping uh, yo, around. Yo, yo, uh, I, would, I would ask you not to comment on my zombo tits. <laughs> okay? They're beautiful. They're Every so bountiful. <laughs> they, are, they are just the way they died. Thank you. <laughs> After three hours of passionate art activity, you put your oh, clothes geez. on again because of decadency, but mainly because we don't have a shirtless model for Scott and admire your work. Whoa, this is genius! No, it's actually not so bad drawing of Scott shirtless and the words Scott rules, but sure, why not? You know how to take a compliment. Scott leaves all excited, ready to ex execute your plan. As your elders always say, any problem can be solved by drawing shirtless people. Later you stumble upon Scott again, he seems quite excited. There you are, Timmy's mom! Your plan was a success! My beloved furries seem to love a flag that's basically just me shirtless. They declared it a national day that should be celebrated yearly by drawing me shirtless! Which is kind of silly, since they do that pretty much every day anyway. But the important thing is that now I'm the best ruler ever, and it's all thanks to you! I would love you for- or I would love you for you to visit my kingdom someday! We might even celebrate Shirtless Scott Day together! Wink! Dude, we already did that. You already did that, we I'm not did. waiting. Okay, I'm not waiting another year for Shirtless Scott Day to come back. I want Shirtless Scott Day, like, tonight. Now. I'm honey. My zombie tits need some rubbing. <laughs> You're pretty sure Shirtless Scott Day will totally become your all time favorite festivity? You gain plus two charm and plus one creativity. Yes! Uh oh. Everybody chooses an object. Say your choice out loud. <laughs> What's your object? I don't want to say it. You can say it. I was going to say it. A dildo. That was just the first thing that popped yep. into my head. Of course that was the first thing that popped into your head. <laughs> Wonderful. There's a reason that my icon for this channel is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> He's just staring at the wall because of what I just, I just, I like, think I broke his soul. No, you didn't break my soul. I'm just like, God damn it, this is... <laughs> Why? I mean, this is the perfect game for this, though. He told I me I could to... say whatever I wanted. I am going to pick the pipe cleaners. Yes, the pipe cleaners. Not for my dildo. Player orders decided based on how many un how unsexy it would be to use the selected object as a sexual toy. Damn it! Yep, pipe cleaners. Yeah. Yep, pipe Fuck. cleaners. I went the opposite route. All right. You did. You went the opposite route. Ding dong, bing bong, y'all. 
We're almost done as well. There's only a few more choices. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so I am going to sit next to... Oh, oh, Scott and Polly are here. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, oh, oh rock, paper, scissors in this? Okay, yeah. one shot, one off. Rock, paper, scissors. Whoever gets it gets to sit with their boo. Okay. Okay, okay. rock, it's paper, a... scissors, shoot. Shoot, it's on okay. shoot. Rock, okay, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Okay. okay, ready? Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yes! Yes! See, I knew that I know the strategy of rock, paper, scissors. I know the I know the mind game. So what happened was we both picked scissors, then we both picked paper, then I knew she was gonna pick scissors because some it's uh more likely that the people will pick what's strong against the last thing that they played. So I picked rock because I knew she was gonna pick scissors. That's actually that's actually the strategy of rock, paper, scissors, is that if you if you play scissors first, what you wanna do is the other person's gonna play rock. So then you play paper. Fuck you. Yeah, you actually play what's weak. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and sit with Scott and Polly. You find Polly and Scott huddled at your chosen table. If these two are together, it can only mean one thing. I... Uh, yeah, this is you. No, that's you. You're Polly. Oh yeah, right. I took Polly away from you, right? I hereby call this meeting of the Prank Masters to order. Prank Master Howell, president accounted for. Chairman Geist, all dressed up and ready to prank. Hey, how come you get to be chairman? Well, which one of us can throw chairs around the room with our ghost powers, Scott? Well, I don't have ghost powers, so... Oh, you, I get it, chairman! But no time to argue, Scott. We've got to come up with a baller food prank before the end of lunch. Oh, yeah, okay, what if we ate all our food like a good boy? Is that a prank? <laughs> yeah, that's a prank. It's a good prank. Good boy, good boy. No, no, Scott, for the last time, that's not a prank, and I don't eat, oh my god. But I'm having trouble coming up with another idea. Anybody else? You've been waiting all your life for an opportunity like this. You propose the ultimate food prank. Eat everybody else's food like a good boy, mm -hmm. or replace all the food with chairs. I wonder which one's the good oh, boy one. Oh, I'm gonna pet the good boy. Eat other people's food? You can do that? Well, I can't. But I can? Even if it's on somebody else's plate? Even if it's in somebody else's tummy? Oh my exactly half of that was right. Which half? Oh no, time to figure, no time to figure it out. We gotta prank now while the pranking's good. Wait, what about me? Food falls right through me. But you and Scott are already blazing a trail through the cafeteria, gobbling everything in sight. Scott accidentally eats a few people get along with their food, but he politely burps them out when, he, when they complain. By the time school security kicks you two out, you're both totally stuffed with food and affection for each other. That's Yay! So now who do you want to sit with? You could go uh, here to gain some extra stats. Okay. Or you could go to Valerie, but you don't have enough money for anything. And if you go to these, you might screw up your chances with Polly to All right, appear. Go to the so guy. Go to the creepo in the corner. This guy is called the Wolf Pack. You've barely sat down when the whole Wolf Pack comes running over, clearly panicking. Okay, I'm gonna do this because it's like a dog. Or no dog. You've got to help us. We're suffocating. It's like we're not getting enough air. We can hardly talk. Uh, you see the problem? You remind them that in addition to breathing out, they need to also breathe in. Oh, whoa! That works way better! I have no idea how we forgot about that. Yeah, you don't either. Thanks for saving our lives, dog. We owe you one, and we'll pay you back. Right now, what kind- what kind- what do you want? What- we'll do literally anything. So, they can teach you calculus, or they can give you an extreme makeover. Most likely, the makeover's charm, because you're gonna look fabulous. Yeah, so you want the makeover? Sure. An extreme makeover? Like, an extreme makeover? Are you like sure? I they can't breathe, but they can, like... Yeah, they can do a makeover. Like well, an you'll extreme see. makeover. Well, hold like, on, not hold just on, a you'll makeover. see. You'll see. You'll see. You nod because apparently this is what you want from a pack of idiot dogmen. All right, boys, you know what that means. Time for one of our patented extreme spa treatments. Suddenly you're surrounded by wolves covering your face with their wide, moist tongues. That's you can hot. feel your pores oh, really opening up beneath the relentless torrent of dog saliva and unconditional love. When the wolf pack finally gets bored of licking you, you're positively glowing, you gain plus four charm. So you actually get four. You get double what you normally get. So everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud. Teeth. Really? Teeth? <laughs> <sighs> okay, I am going... I'm going to pick Ghostbusters because I just busted your chances with that ghost. <laughs> oh, come on, fist bump. Fist bump, that was good. That was good. I, I totally got you on that one. Uh huh. Player order is decided based on how hard it would be to explain the selected movie to an old person. And um, you win that one. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Okay. No, hold on. We're not explaining. We're not explaining what teeth is. We know what teeth is. If you don't know what teeth is, that's probably best. We're just gonna say. I that, don't recommend uh, it. It's one of those movies where you're just by the end of it, you're just gonna sit there and go, "What did I just watch? Yeah, what is this even?" So this is our last chance to and get with our be chosen people before Let's we have to select this. our prom dates. All right. So, where do you want to go? Now you could maybe go back and get a little bit extra fun just to make sure you have enough or wherever else you want to go. Fuck yeah. Want to go for some more fun? Oh yeah. Epic dancing. I want to see my, 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 booty, my booty dress. 
Everything. Oh shit! Everything is fine until Juan. Juan. Yep. The the small magical Latino cat asks what you think you're doing. Damn. Damn. You didn't remember. You suck at dancing. I How? Was, How? You're so fun though. You've got I so much fun. I suck at dancing. I know, but you're so much. You're so fun and so creative. It knew me. So it knew me in real life. I can't dance. But you decide, but you decide to go all in and pretend it's a new dance move. Apparently called the group Mosaka, Musaka. Musaka. I think I called it Musaka. The, the groovy Musaka. Juan looks at you and he asks you to teach him the groovy Musaka. In no time, half the party is following your steps and joining the groovy Musaka all together. It's a party to remember. I gain two fun and a cool story to tell my grandkids someday. Yeah, but not. Don't tell them about the teeth, okay? <laughs> don't tell them about the movie teeth. Oh my god, did you hear? They finally invented a tattoo gun that works on ghosts! I'm totally gonna go get one as soon as school lets out! Oh shit, we should definitely get matching tattoos, you wanna? Of course you do! What are you responsible? The important question is, what kind of tattoo do you want to get? Entire text of the Necronomicon. You be you be the first half and I'll be the second half. Knuckle tats. You get part party par par party par? And I'll get chip. Tippa? Rita? Riti? <laughs> okay, so it's it's part e par and then tipa riti. So it's party party party. Oh. If you put it all together, it spells party party party. Oh my god, that's so. Put our knuckles together, and you know what that spells. So which one do you think would be your answer? Um, party the party one. Party party party. Because like I don't see her wanting like some sort of like necronomicon on her. Well, you do know what the ne necronomicon is, right? It's to summon the dead, isn't it? Like, no, it's, it's called it's the book of the dead. Yeah. Right. So yeah, but okay. So you want to go with party, party, party? Yeah. Good, because it was about fun. Sex. Because you asked her, you know what that means, right? You know what it spells. Party, party, right? party. You look Polly. You look blankly at Polly. What? That's what it spells, right? I mean, I could be wrong. Whenever I see a group of letters, I always assume it spells either sex or LSD. And a knuckle tattoo is obviously longer than three letters. So sex it is. You start to explain that sex is is the same length as LSD, but Polly. Presses a finger to your lips. Shh, my little dumb player. If you play your cards right, I'll just show you how long sex can really be. Oh, she does Jesus. Sh <laughs> she does show you. It turns out you can just be as long as you want. If you just keep adding X to the end, you gain two fun and one creativity. Oh, I gain a creativity. Hell nice. yeah. Nice. I mean, well, I mean, you did learn how to extend sex to as long as you want. Oh, yeah. So, there you go. Uh, let's see. Charm, fun, money, creativity, boldness, smarts. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and max out the charm. Why not? Why not? Epic dodgeball match. At one point, you're about to be eliminated by a player from the other team, but suddenly you convince him not to throw the ball at you with a heartfelt speech about the importance of everyone's lives. The player bursts into tears, and you take advantage of that moment of weakness, you're throwing a, a ball at him. You lose minus five mercy. We're monsters. What the hell do you think we are? A stat that might be useful in Monster Prom's sequel, but isn't now. You gain plus two charm. After that, it's time for the most important part of school, visiting Scott's kingdom of furry animals as promised. When you, I think this is actually a secret ending for Scott. Congratulations. I know. Thank you. When you get, to, when you get to the forest, you find that most of the teens have, the most trees. of the trees have been decorated with beautiful, intricately drawn pictures of an even more muscular than life Scott having various kinds of sex with various different giant furry animals. <laughs> Timmy's mom, my royal advisor, here to royally advise me while I sit on my Scott throne and rule over my Scott friends. Aren't these sweet little furry forest creatures devoted to me? It makes me ta uh, my tail wag with joy. Is it at that point that one, or it is at that point that one of the sweet little furry forest creatures' giant head falls off, revealing a very startled-looking mummy? Yup, Vera called it. Bunch of kinky furry people doing furry stuff in the woods. I oh no! What you, what just happened? Is is he hurt? Is my little panda friend hurt? Or was my panda friend never a panda friend at all? <gasps> Oh no, 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 Scott will be losing his pure joy and innocence over some furry's shitty costuming skills. Not on your watch, not today. You think quickly. You know how deer shed their antlers and then they grow back? Ta talking furry forest creatures shed their heads. Or, Scott, that panda must have been a cursed prince, and now you've turned him back into a person. The first one seems uh, more probable. Well, here's the thing, though. It's all based on stats, right? Yeah. So... Mmm... That would be smarts, because you're oh, taking, so, you like, know. I think the first one's more smarts, because you're taking into consideration yeah, the deer yeah. sheds their antlers and like, grow, grow them back, back so you'd yep. have to know that. And then this one could be, I don't think it's creativity. That, that so would this, be creativity, because it's like telling no, a story. No, 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 because I, I have a tie between smarts and creativity. They always give you, I think, a choice between something you have and something you don't have. So 
I, I don't think it's smarts and creativity. I think it might be Scott the Panda must have been a cursed prince, and now you've turned him back into a... That might be charming, actually, because it's like a prince charming kind of thing. Or it could be fun. Oh, I, I might... I, don't, I think the first one's more dedicated towards smarts. Yeah, so I so think I your think... best option is the second one. Yeah, I'm going to go with the second one. Hopefully, please... Because the other thing, too, is like bullshitting a kid into like a fairy tale well, story, yeah. right? Like, he's not exactly the... Yeah. The smartest in the book, so maybe telling him a bullshit fairy tale. Because will... it's not bold. This doesn't seem bold. The panda must have been a curse, but that doesn't seem like a bold option to me. No. Oh, it could be fun though. But I think it might be like I think it would probably be more with a fun charm. or creativity. Char well, yeah, we'll go with it. Second, second option. Oh, so charming! It was charming. It was charming. So I've heard about these kind of curses before. Curses, curses, <laughs> and I broke the spell with my love for my furry friends. As their king of cur or as their king, of course, I don't love them in the way you know they draw me loving them. They're very interesting pictures, though. I love them so much. Thanks for helping me out, Timmy's mom. I guess I love you too, in a way. Wink. You don't audibly say wink, Scott. And you guess you love him too, and you love gaining two fun in one spot. Yes. So the monster prom draws near. Fire crotch. Who will you be asking to prom? Yourself, Liam Delionport, uh, myself. Miranda, Vera, Scott, Polly, or Damien? Um. Here's a hint. If you ask yourself, you'll most likely be shamed because you didn't do any of the secret routes. Oh, well, I'm probably going to go with the chick that I want to bang. Oh, really? So you're probably going to ask Polly, huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Really? Okay, so we'll go with Polly. Firecrotch is taking hey, Polly boo. to prom. Ask Polly to prom? Yes. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. And I am going to ask Scott to prom. Look at his face! I love that ooh, face! Ooh, you're picking me! Pick me, please! Oh, oh your look, it's so cute. cute. Yeah, no, Vicky's super cute. I love Vicky. She's great. Let's do this! Their little Fire crotch. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the monster prom with you. Yes! It'll be epic, boo! Shit will get pretty wild pretty soon. Only one thing, if I were you, I'd get some good life insurance. <laughs> just in case. Let's party till you ate, you ate some good old Ayahuasca cupcakes to make sure that the date would be as crazy as possible. Then you spent all night dancing at prom, or that was what you thought you did. In reality, you were in the middle of the desert dancing with three wizard hobos, a guy in a stuffed animal costume. Hey, was he from Scott's, uh, kingdom? Maybe he was the panda. Oh, dude, Maybe that he got panda kicked out because Scott oh, no. was like, hey oh, no. man, I cured you, get the fuck no, out. No, no, the furries kicked him out because his costume fell apart and then it hurt Scott, so they clearly kicked him out because they thought yeah. it scared Scott that... Well, I'm glad, I'm glad he found some new people. Yep. And the incarnation of an ancient god. Still best night ever. Let's go. Man, you had a really good night. You got you actually got with uh, Molly. Prom? I'm not sure, bro. I have a kingdom to rule, and attending prom doesn't seem very responsible as a ruler. I don't know about history. Maybe some other king or queen has stopped ruling their kingdom to attend prom. I should check. I mean, I think you're the person I trust the most, and I'd love to go to prom with you, but my kingdom. Sometimes a good teammate has to make sacrifices for the team. You know, the teammate is me, and the team is my kingdom. Oh, and the sacrifice is not going with you to prom. I'm truly am sorry. Sometimes uh -huh. there's not enough space in one Scott for both ruling a kingdom and love. Bye. You just gotta buy. Man. You're not destined to have him. Man. I mean, I did get him in my own time, but on the show, I've never gotten Scott. Scott leaves, and you swear you saw a manly tear running down his cheek. Damn it, why do I always... Every time I play this for the show, I've literally gotten Scott to love me, but he couldn't have me. Every time. <laughs> you friend zoned him, he, it was payback. Uh, it's true. It's okay, you started all this to just seduce Scott, but now you put more value on his happiness and on his pursuit of a career as a king of a totally fake kingdom. You stay by his side as the best furry consigliere that has ever existed, or that has never existed. Your relationship with Scott strengthens, and in the end, his kingdom sees that. Oh, I did get a special, look at this, I got a special ending. Scott, Scott thought his kingdom and love weren't compatible, yet it seems to be quite the opposite. Scott's subject started drawing lots of suggestive art pieces depicting the two of you. Facing the explicit art made you rethink the nature of your relationship, and it ended up being closer to all that NSFW art. <laughs> Not safe for work, don't do it, mm -mm, don't do it. So we have one new secret ending unlocked, eight new events, 12 new outcomes. So, most likely to make Pluto a planet again, and Polly is best at phasing out. You didn't get one of these. I don't know why you didn't get one. I, I was hoping maybe everyone would get one. But so there we go. We actually got a secret ending. We got Ooh. Scott's furry ending. Oh, that's wonderful. We actually got a super special secret ending. So now I usually would uh, take the headphones at the end here because they're, they're going to have a butt rock song happening. And I like to sing. No, no, no. You can have it because I'm not going to do it this time. 
I'm not going to do it this time, but everybody who's familiar with the series knows that I love to sing it, and this will be the only time I don't sing it. So those three, were, those three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After Monster Prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning who we were and who we could be. And you know what? As it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Liam and Scott co-wrote a cheesy and weird fanfic of Two Lights that became unexpectedly popular to the point it turned into a well-known novel of its own. You go all Twilight for what? Half of the characters are shirtless for all the right reasons. Polly graduated at doing lots of ayahuasca, and now she appears to be or appears to people hallucinating to act as their spirit animal. Oh, you well, you literally have a spirit animal in bed. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, girl. Vera really built the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also into lots of sketchy businesses. But no one does anything about it. I mean, who in the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? Not me. During those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed bigger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there were lots of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. And this is the butt rock that comes up. What if I told you that I like to sing butt rock? <laughs> it's not in time with the music, you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is all like the cool stuff. Oh, look stuff. at you and... Yeah, me and Scott there. Oh, look at me. Yeah, you and Vera. Oh, we got Poison so Ivy like, on the right. These are like Polaroids of just Fuck the characters. Fuck you. Get away out. from my boo. No, dude, I'm with, I'm with a group, okay? That's fine. There's Jesse Cox, if you might notice him from YouTube. Uh, he helped produce this game. Okay. Yeah. Uh, very wonderful. Very wonderful. I love this game. So what did you think of this game? I enjoyed it. You enjoyed Monster Prom? What was your favorite part? I, I like Polly. I think the best part was when it was like, um, the suggested, the, 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 in, the, you, what is it, um, the innuendos. Oh, the innuendos, all the nasty comedy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, look, there's, there's all of us. Look, and Miranda. I you're like how I'm in the skin tight dress, and I'm like, no, don't look at me. Yeah. Don't look at me. I think you're not trying to get wet, though, also. There's the Slayer right up there. Oh, and that's Blob cool. Blob Blobbert was there, too. So you didn't get to see a bunch of the secret characters, but there's a Blob Boy, there is literally a Demon God. Or like an, okay, an eldritch you, abomination. Shining armor. Oh yeah, nobody went to the uh, nobody went to the auditorium. Everybody's got a costume. Aww. Polly has a plague doctor outfit. Oh no, she's so hot. I'll show you one of the thumbnails I have of her. I think she's in the plague doctor uh, outfit. I'll show you uh, when we're not recording. But yeah, so this has been Monster Prom. Uh, it's just a fun little game. Uh, do you think you'd play this again? I would probably play it again if I was gonna go. I, w I want to see the pink chick, Miranda. Miranda, would you play this solo or multiplayer? I'd probably say multiplayer just because I want to like. I want to see what happens if you, like, um... Screw over other players? Yeah! Well, did you know... Oh, thanks for playing, and there's our cool little ending bit here. My furry cutie patootie. Oh, we actually got that Polaroid at the end. Oh, you've unlocked nine new images in the gallery. Do we want to so, see? So, I'm... Yeah, we'll, we'll look at the gallery. The episode's not quite over yet. So, this is Damien. Uh, this was mine... I think this was my role that I got Damien in. Oh, no. Oh, there's... He's, like, Liam. looking at your tit. Like, go back. Like, he's, like, yeah. full no, his eyes are looking closed. at your boobs. His eyes are closed. Oh. He's it... got the Brock eyes there. And then there's Miranda's dress. There's Polly's dress. I don't like Polly's saw. outfit. No, I think she's like her one hair. I don't like no, her hair. Her secret endings are better, you know. But yeah, there's Scott. Look, Look at how he's happy so, he's, like, he's. He's such so, a good boy. So good. He's so good. There's Vera. I like oh Vera. my god, Vera, you're so beautiful. And then there's when you Fuck get rejected. You. Yeah, I wonder if this is Vicky because that's just the one they picked because she won the fan choice. There's Miranda. Ooh. There's Vera. Oh no. <laughs> I actually, I actually photoshopped this to have beef in it when I did my first run. My little monster character, and it's up on Twitter. There is the uh, Zagord, or Zoe. He's so cute. Uh, she oh. is a eldritch abomination. Oh. She does apparently pick a female form, though. There is uh, Faith, who is part of the Witch's Coven. Oh, she's pretty. Yeah, they're kind of like the magical girls of the school. So there's yes. Hope, there's Hope, Faith, and Joy. Oh, And they God. all fight evil. And they basically have Sailor Moon. They're, they're Sailor Moon, pretty much. There is uh, that's really that, that Calcu creeps me that's out. that's Calcu Lester. He's creepy. He's me a out. magically brought to life computer. He creeps me out. There's Blobber, the all, best boy. All I can think about is Ditto. He's he's the best boy. Blobber is the best boy. There's Valerie. Val all her oh, dress is really pretty. I know pretty. she's she's the most beautiful. She's the most beautiful. There's Scott and what happens when you take somebody to prom with just the ghost outfit on? Okay. There's Polly. One oh, of Polly's pretty. endings. There's, oh, there's Scott's furry ending. Oh, my furry friends. There is the, um, Whoa. <clears throat> there's the, uh, the, um, cult sex ending. There is the dragon fanfic ending. I, 
There's a book you can buy that's called Dragon Heat, and if you just read it the entire way through and don't ask anyone to prom, you actually end up just being like, you read Dragon Heat and you loved it. <laughs> There's the corpse party one, where you buy the corpse in the shop and you take it all the way to prom. And that's all the ones I have. Well, here's the Polaroids we unlocked, actually. So if we can look through some of these. Those, there's the group there. That's the one that's we got. That's the one you just got. Yeah. Actually, I think these are all the... Actually, yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. You actually unlock these Polaroids by dating certain characters with certain other characters. So, let's see here now. Polaroid's new. Let's see. There's four. Does it say which ones are new? Here we go. So we got this one, getting drunk all... Oh, getting drunk till the light of dawn. I think we got that because we played with Polly and her. We got my furry... Oh, no, the captions are different. So I think we got these because I ended the game with a secret ending. Okay. Right? So here's No Day Aww. Feels Rainy Without You, or with you. Oh, Vera, I love you so much. You're so cute. No words needed. Enjoying life. Always have each other's rears. <laughs> my my fire beats yours. <laughs> ah, my fire beats yours. Don't beat me in front of Miri. Oh, yeah, because Miranda... They call her Miri, the star of my nights. Oh, that's so cute. Was totally just checking at Damien. <laughs> Nothing as sexy as a beautiful mind. Also, they, you can have the same things, but with different outcomes. No silverware compares to Miri. <laughs> no better distraction. Ooh, girl. There's the Slayer again. The biggest thrill is being with you. Look at Scott. He's like, yeah. The world stops when she smiles. Here's some more art. I believe, oh, these are like the art that you get from doing certain oh, bits. Different oh, here we go. We can show, we can show Polly's. Oh, give me my fashion show. Yeah, here we go. Oh, you getting your fashion show? Here, yeah, we'll give do. me a fashion show. All right, so here's, here's all the, so those are the backgrounds. Here we go. So this is Damien standard, Liam standard, Miranda standard, like Polly standard, Scott standard, Vera standard. Look at those legs, though. See what I mean? Her legs are forever. They, they're literally 60% of her body. <laughs> There's Damien's, uh, like, gang jacket. Gay. There's oh my god, he looks like a dad Liam. who like sits there. I, that, I love that. I think Miranda's super cute in that one. Because she's got the super long like thigh-high socks. There's Polly's party girl outfit. I love it. She's got cowboy boots, dude. Knocking boots. <laughs> There's Lumberjack Scott. <laughs> There's just sexy Vera. There's Jim Damien. Right, that looks like PJs. Jim Liam. Jim Miranda. Jim Polly. Jim Scott. Jim Vera. Oh my god, those legs. They're so forever. There is his, like his auditorium Death Knight. Outfit. Yeah, yeah, the, the play. There's like Death Knight Damien. There is Liam de Lioncourt in something he probably actually owns. There's Princess Daisy Miranda. That's a, yeah, that's, yeah. There is Plague Doctor Polly. Yeah. What did I tell you? That girl is fine in that Plague Doctor outfit because she cooks up that meth. <laughs> oh yeah. There's he's Scott, a fucking tree. He's got a little pecker. He's got outfit. a little hole for his pecker. Oh yeah. <laughs> Eat that wood. Oh my God, Vera though she looks so good as an assassin. Oh my god. There's Coach. See what I mean? Tony yeah. the Tiger? <laughs> Tony the Tiger. I know Tony the Tiger, right? Oh my god. There's Hope, Faith, and Joy. Thicker than a snicker. I'm getting like a May vibe. May? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, a bit. There's uh, Aravi. Aravi. The Slayer. There's the Interdimensional Prince. Oh my god, he looks so... Um, There's the Wolf Pack. Yeah. Oh, no, he does. Oh my god, I'm the Interdimensional Prince and I've come to steal your women. That's the voice I give him. There's Calculester. Calculester's really cool. He I like really him. He looks really creepy. Well, he's a computer with a smi side smiley creepy. face. At one point, he actually puts a dick on his face. Like the little three <laughs> equals parentheses. Yeah. There's Blobbert. He's such a cute boy. He's a good boy. There's Valerie. See what I mean? She holds her tail. Valerie's so cool. Oh, Valerie. She's the best. She is literally the best. I know you don't like her, but she's punk cat. I don't like this. I don't like the short hair. The, I mean, you know what? You, you, ch hair can change, but she's punk through and through. And then here we concept go. There's art. some concept art. Oh, I love concept art. All right, there's the. Uh, there, that's what Zoe actually looks like when she chooses her human form. You don't actually get to see it. Wait, who's that boy? Is that he's new? wearing a punk a, a Pukachu. A Pukachu. Who's a that boy though? He's new. That might be an ending I don't quite have yet. That might be a secret ending for somebody else. But that's somebody I don't have yet. There's some of the old school maps. Right. So there we go. There's some more art. And then they actually have a tab for fan art. That's cool. I so like we've that. got Vera and then the Forbes thirty under three thousand. So there you go. I don't have much other fan art for that. Probably have to play the game a little bit more. But yeah, that's been Monster Prom. That's wonderful. I love all the art. I love how they added the gallery. The gallery is one of my favorite things. And you can see everybody's little heads there. There's Coach. I love it. I gave Coach a Scottish accent. <laughs> so yeah, thank you all for sticking with us for playing some Monster Prom. And we will see... Well, I will definitely see you all on the next episode. But I would like to thank my cousin here for coming out and playing some multiplayer. Because I have been trying to get a multiplayer session going on with a different friend of mine. But her life has just been going absolutely crazy balls. I don't have so, a life, so... Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's obvious. You're related to me. We don't... 
We're practically I work, I go undead. home, I eat food. <laughs> yeah, I go Ritz home. crackers and ruffle chips. <laughs> I go home, I eat, I sleep, I wake up, I eat, I go to work, I eat while at work, I get off work, I'm not I eat. <laughs> I, I'm not kidding. I sat there all day yesterday with a box of Ritz crackers, and I just was eating Ritz crackers <laughs> the entire time I was on shift. Yeah, you know what? I know you did. <laughs> Because if it's one thing about our family, it's that we love crackers. <laughs> all right, so I will see you all on the next episode, or next series, I should say, of whatever may come on the channel here for Bite Size Beefs. I'm pretty sure there might be even some more monster mashes coming up soon with some other cool games. But until then, take care, everybody. Say bye, Sierra. Bye-bye. Take care, everybody.